you can't look at this guy without thinking of the tune. <laughs> Figger and Dan is in the house. Thanks, everyone, for joining me for another Star Wars Black Series review. Figger and Dan, this is a figure we're going to have to buy minimum four of, I think. Three? Three, maybe? Four? Five? I'm, I, I can't remember. I watched Sci-Fi's review of Nail and Chill, which is the sort of deluxe version of the Biff. Um, don't know whether there's much difference between them. Doesn't need to be. They all sort of look and dress the same. Interestingly... The uh, the way the shirt is on, on there is different to the figure. Um, but whatever. doesn't matter. <laughs> it does not matter a dime. Um, chance to reuse probably a Han Solo vest or something. I'm not sure. No, it could be new. I'm not 100% not sure. I can't pick on, it, pick on it at the moment. So not too fast. I think it looks good. Figuring Dan was the rocking frontman for his all-biff band, the Modal Nodes. His deft playing of the clue horn for the band... Earned him the nickname Fiery Figurin. And he is fiery. Look at him. <laughs> Fantastic looking stuff. I'm really, really excited for this one. Um, I know they're redoing them in the vintage collection, but uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I've got the old ones in the three and three quarter inch scale. So I do want to put together the band in Black Series. So that is something that I will be doing. Hopefully, if there's plenty of these around, hopefully there's enough. Um, but yeah, let's crack them up and take a look. All right, here is Figure and Dan. What a cracking figure. This is so good. I tell you, I thought I'd show you a look at the other instruments um, that you can give this, this character and uh, turn him into any other members of the band. Um, for some reason, that just decides to pop out. I have no idea whether there's any, any reason or purpose for that. If there is, I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> so, yeah, another sort of longer, longer instrument. Which will pop there in that hole. <laughs> we have another smaller one. So nicely sculpted, nicely detailed. And here we have Figurin's clue horn, which is the one he will be displayed with. Um, and yeah, that's that's it's a cool piece. It looks nice. But man, do I love the sculpt on this figure? He's so good. <laughs> it's just love the paint. Love love all the details. The sculpt is just excellent yeah really nice looking figure i love it just it's so simple in its design with the the outfits just a plain sort of black vest very star warsy with the flap sort of gray pants dark brownie gray boots they look good and the sculpt on the hands really nice as well just a really cool looking figure i'm really Really happy to have this one in the collection, honestly. I, I didn't think I would be super excited because it was kind of a case of, um, you know, am I going to rebuild the modal nodes in three and three quarters again or am I going to go with the black series? And uh, at this stage, I think I'm going to go with the black series because um, I've already got, like, you know, I've got the old Cantina band from, like, the tin set that came out years ago. So really don't need to get the band again in three and three quarter it's it's fine um but yeah this this guy's looking good could find a way to get him to hold a little bit better It'll take some time but yeah really really cool i love the biff i don't know what it is it's just it's so like ridiculous Looks like that will sort of almost peg in there. Holds nicely, looks good. He's a jazz musician, just a just a simple dude. Rocking out. Fantastic. Yeah, definitely gonna have to try and get a hold of Nail and Chill. I don't know whether anyone's got him up for pre-order here in Australia. Um, I know Sci-Fi had to get his from uh, Thailand, I think. So, I'll, uh, you know, try and get a hold of that one. But yeah, it looks fantastic. So thank you very, very much for watching. I do appreciate your time checking out my videos. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up.
and subscribe if you haven't. At the time of recording, I'm at $46.99, nearly at $4,700, which is just a ridiculous number for me. I just get a simple little channel here. I'm having fun with it. So I appreciate everyone's support. I really do. It means the world and uh, means I keep enjoying Star Wars toys. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching. We've got another one coming up tomorrow, so stay tuned for that. Until then, may the force be with you always.